hi guys welcome back to my channel in my previous video i have discussed about what is dependency graph and i also explained you with an example and in this video i am going to discuss about what are parsing algorithms and also we are going to discuss about the different kinds of parsers in order to analyze the syntactic structure of a particular sentence okay before getting started with this video, I would like to say you one thing. If you are watching this video for the first time, then please do subscribe to our channel. And if you are already a subscriber, then please do watch the whole video and hit the like button. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first thing, what are parsing algorithms? So first thing, you know, parsing, right? Parsing is nothing but you are dividing uh, a sentence into words and you are tagging it with parts of speech. Why we are tagging it with parts of speech? To check whether the particular given sentence is in is following the grammatical rules and also it is we are checking the syntax. Why we are checking the syntax in order to get to know whether it is uh, grammatically correct sentences or not right so the first sentence the first point is parsing algorithms helps in analyzing the syntactic structure of natural language sentences see the this particular unit is about the syntactic structure you are analyzing the syntactic structure right so this parsing algorithms are also used to analyze the syntactic structure of a given sentence so the second point is parsing algorithms helps in understanding and applying the grammatical rules allowing systems to generate grammatically correct sentences so the first thing is why we use parsing algorithms in order to analyze the syntactic structure so how we are going to analyze this particular syntactic structure the first thing is you are applying the grammatical rules okay you are going to apply the grammatical rules why you are going to apply these grammatical rules is in order to check whether that particular sentence are grammatically correct or not so by checking this particular thing that is how we are going to analyze the syntactic structure of a sentence. So this is the way how we are going to check the syntactic structure. So first, what you are going to do, you are going to apply the grammatical rules. See, grammatical rules are nothing but the production rules. So when I am discussing about the phrase structure graph, there I have discussed about some of the production rules production rules are nothing but uh, cfg rules those are also known as grammatical rules so we are going to apply those rules on the sentences in order to check whether they are grammatically correct or not in order to check they are grammatically correct so you are going to apply this grammatical rules so this is how you are going to analyze the syntactic structure of a sentence okay so there are four types of parsers. So in order to check the syntactic structure, we will be using parsers. So there are four types of parsers. So first one is recursive descent parser, second is shift reduce parser, and third is chart parser, and fourth is regex parser. So in this particular video, I am going to discuss only about the recursive descent parser. In the next video, I will be discussing about the remaining three. Okay. So let's uh, get started with this recursive decent parser. I hope it is visible to you. Okay. Hmm. So the first kind of parser is recursive decent parser. So the name itself says that is recursive that this particular thing is a recursive parser. I mean recursive is nothing but you are repeating it. Okay. Uh, when you are uh, learning about c language you uh, get to know about what is recursion right recursive is nothing but it is repeating okay so the first point a recursive decent parser is a type of parsing technique commonly used to analyze this index of a language so so if you are writing any exam on nlp so the when you, whenever you find some parser, you have to write about some parser. The first point you have to write about those parsers is why it is used. Why it is used in order to analyze the syntax of the language, right? I mean, syntax of a particular sentence. So in order to analyze the syntax of a particular sentence, we are going to use this recursive decent parser, okay? 
the next point it is a top down parser and reads the input from left to right see i have discussed about top down parsers and bottom up parsers right in phrase structure graph yes so the what what kind of parser is this recursive descent parser is top down parser so i have uh, said that if you are uh, going to draw any top down parser then you have to indicate it with the down arrow and if you are uh, writing any bottom up parser then you have to indicate it with the uh, up arrow so uh, this particular recursive descent parser is top down parser so how it reads the input it reads the in input from left to right so if i am if i am uh, explaining the example so you will be getting the clear understanding of what all of these points is so the second one is it and the third point it works by recursively descending through the input string checking each token against the set of production rules defined by the grammar of the language see i have said that in order to check the syntax of a particular sentence we are going to apply the grammatical rules those are nothing but the production rules so uh, these are nothing these particular things are nothing but the production rules so we are going to check the syntax of the sentence by applying this production rules to check whether that particular sentence is grammatically correct or not so the fourth point is this process continue, continues until the entire input string has been successfully passed or until an error is encountered so when you stop this particular uh, parser i mean parsing when you will stop is first thing first if you have completed the whole string i mean parsing the whole string then you can end that process or while you are parsing if some error has been occurred i mean if you can't move further then you can apply i mean you can stop this particular parsing okay so let me explain you with the example so you can get the clear understanding of what all these points are so i will be explaining you with an example so this particular uh, thing it is uh, called as a string or you can call it as expression also there is no problem with that so these are nothing but the production rules so i have already said what production rules are used for so in order to check whether the given expression is grammatically correct or not you are going to use this particular production rules okay either you can call it as grammatical rules or anything so i will be explaining you this production rule so first first production rule is expression so if any particular expression is given and that expression has the plus or minus symbol so you can pass directly suppose there are no plus symbols or minus symbols in the starting of the expression but there are into operator and slash operator then this particular expression production rule will call this particular term rule this particular term rule is called and then the into operator or the slash operator is passed there suppose there is no into operator there is no slash operator there is no plus operator or there is no minus operator in the given example but there is a number there is a number in the given expression then you this particular term will call the factor function there factor rule and that particular number is again passed see only number uh, can be passed in the factor you can also pass the normal parenthesis here okay so i will be explaining you this example so what this example consists of is 3 plus 4 into no, braces open 5 minus 2 and then braces has been closed okay so let's see so i have already said in one particular point that you are going to pass this particular string from left to right right so it is going like this and it is also top to bottom parser right so let's see so the first thing is the first production rule we have is the expression so you have to write the expression expression of whatever the string they have given you have to write here okay so the first thing you have to observe is what we are having in this first expression what what the first uh, thing we are having in this expression is the number 
so in order to reach to the number first you have to call the expression which is already done so in that expression we can only pass plus and minus operator but we can't pass number so you have to call the term function here i mean you have to call the term rule here so i have called the term rule then i in that term rule i can only pass into and slash operator but i can't pass a number right so in this particular term operator will call the factor rule so this factor rule has been called so in that particular factor rule they have mentioned that you can pass number or you can pass the braces right so you have called this particular factor and you have passed the number three so th you have passed so this this part is over and the remaining part you have to pass so you have plus operator now okay you have plus operator so plus operator is in which production rule it is in the expression rule but you are in the factor rule so again this factor rule will call the expression rule so again from factor you are going to the expression so in that particular expression they have mentioned that you can pass plus operator so i have mentioned there i have passed the plus operator so again you have four four is number right so but we are in the expression rule you have to go to factor rule again this particular expression rule will call the term rule so this particular expression rule has called the term rule in that term rule again it called the factor rule so in that factor rule it is said that you can pass the number so i have mentioned that i have passed the number four so up to here we have passed right so again you have into operator here so where is that into operator it is in the term rule but we are in the factor rule so again this particular factor will call the expression rule so in expression we can pass only plus and minus operator so again this particular expression rule will call the term rule so you can see here again the expression rule calls the term rule so what we have done is we have passed the into operator so up to this the parsing has been done and the remaining is still there so next you have got this normal parenthesis right so where is this normal parenthesis it is in the factor rule but where we actually are in we are in the term rule so again this term rule will call the factor rule so uh, so you can see here again this term rule has called the factor rule there you have passed the normal parenthesis you can see here we have passed the normal parenthesis so up to here parsing has been done so th then you have number so number is in which rule it is in the factor rule already we are in the factor rule so you can directly pass this normal parenthesis and five at a time okay so then we have minus operator so where is this minus operator it can be passed in the expression rule but where we are actually in we are in the factor rule so this particular factor rule will call the expression rule so we will be calling the expression rule here so what we are doing we are going to pass the minus operator so that is what i mentioned here so again you have this two number so this particular two is a number right but we are actually in the expression rule so again it will call the term function and this term function will call the factor rule okay then in the factor rule it is mentioned that you can pass a number or a normal parenthesis so we are having a number here so you can pass the number two again what we are having here we are having normal parenthesis so where is this normal parenthesis it is in the factor rule so we are actually in the factor rule so, so you can uh, pass both two and normal parenthesis so this is how we are we have been completed the parsing of whole expression so uh, by this you can observe that it is a uh, top down top to bottom parser and at the same time it is traversing from left to right in order to pass this particular expression you are going from left to right right so this is about recursive descent parser in the next video i will be explaining you about the shift reduce parser so if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section and also join our telegram channel in order to receive the latest uploads in our channel
Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned.